Yamaha launched Yamaha Right Waters to produce measurable environmental improvements, clean water, to slow the spread of invasive species, and restore and create marine habitat. Yamaha Right Waters also supports academic marine research to uncover solutions for issues facing today's fisheries. Growing levels of carbon dioxide is one of the greatest ecological threats today, contributing not only to climate change, but also to ocean acidification, detrimental to marine microorganisms that fish and other marine life depend on for food. Yamaha Right Waters now funds a number of projects across the U.S., including an important two-year conservation study at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi's Heart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies, developed to restore degrading oyster beds and quantify the amount of carbon oysters sequester. Behind me, we're bagging up recycled oyster shells that we've reclaimed from uh, restaurants, local restaurants, and regional seafood festivals, and we're building, rebuilding degraded oyster reef. So we take these oyster shells, once the oysters are shucked at a restaurant, instead of them going into a landfill or into the trash, we separate them from the trash and we keep them so that we can put them back in the bay. So they provide habitat for fish and shrimp and crabs as well as oysters. They protect shorelines from erosion because they basically can form a natural breakwater. So you think about a breakwater made with concrete or brick or something, the living veneer of oysters on the outside of these shells grows with the, uh, the water. And so it can actually serve as a living breakwater. Reducing carbon dioxide is a high priority for Yamaha. We're learning that filter feeding oysters trap and store carbon from the atmosphere. Quantifying their carbon sequestration value will help drive resource management decisions in the future. The study is also evaluating different methods for recycling old oyster shells to establish or rebuild sustainable oyster beds along the Gulf Coast. These beds make it easier for oyster larvae to find suitable places to attach and eventually grow mature. At least 50% of the original oyster beds in the Gulf have disappeared. Texas recently prohibited oyster harvest in most state oyster harvest zones to allow stocks to recover. John O'Keefe of Yamaha Rightwaters recently participated in a restoration project off Rockport, Texas, joining members of the Coastal Conservation Association and students from Texas A&M University Corpus Christi to build a nearshore oyster reef. Today we're here St. Charles Bay, participating in a citizen science project, and we are in the process of regenerating a failed oyster estuary. Yamaha and Yamaha Rightwaters is very proud to help sponsor important conservation projects such as this, as well as many others across the country. Study results from this Yamaha Rightwaters sponsored program are expected in two years.